Many people consider me the modern day Mythbusters. I put to the test the most troubling scientific questions we've ever faced, such as, can you shoot a potato through a potato cannon into a tennis racket and create french fries? As well as other many groundbreaking discoveries, you know, can you turn a three foot dildo, Moby Huge, into a rideable go-kart? The answer to both of these, of course, is yes. And today, I wanted to tackle something even bigger, something I've always wondered. Can you take someone who's never played a computer game, a computer shooter more specifically, and turn them into a professional player given enough time and coaching? So I needed the perfect guinea pig for my little mad science experiment, and luckily, I knew a caveman that had never touched a PC FPS in his life. His name is Caleb. You've met him before because he was in that video where we were eating the 6 million Scoville pasta. He was that absolute maniac, that Arkham Asylum lunatic that consumed the entire bowl of 6 million Scoville Psycho Serum and almost died. He was puking into my toilet for over an hour and I was pretty sure he went straight to heaven to meet his maker. But luckily he pulled through, he survived, and he's willing to sacrifice his mind and body for the sake of science. He's willing to be tortured again in the name of discovery and scientific breakthrough. He has volunteered to undergo something far more painful than 6 million Scovilles, Valorant. Now let me break this down for you and give you a quick book report on Caleb. His only PC gaming experience comes from World of Warcraft and RuneScape. Other than these two games, he's never touched anything on PC. He has played on console, but only Call of Duty and Halo mainly for his shooters. So it really is perfect. He has no experience playing PC games or competitive history with games at all. So it made sense that he would be the optimal candidate for this experiment, and he was super interested in doing it. He's the one who chose Valorant. I didn't force that on him. I wouldn't wish that evil upon even my worst enemy. He chose that. He's a glutton for punishment. Now the question we aim to answer with this experiment is, can you go from zero experience, zero talent, you know, absolute dog shit on the street at a certain game, to becoming competitive and a good player at the game, can you even become a pro player? You know, he doesn't need to be signed to Cloud9, though if he does eventually get there where he's got that kind of skill, I would consider the experiment remarkably successful. But we just want to see if given enough time, coaching, resources, whatever it takes, can you go from turbo shitty to master or even professional? And if so, how long would it take? Caleb doesn't even have a computer, he just has an iPad, he's like a 70 year old woman who just plays Candy Crush on her iPad. So we needed to hook him up with a computer, so of course we got him an Artesian Builds computer. I'm sure you all know by now, we only use Artesian Builds computers, they make the absolute best stuff. If you're interested or need a new computer, you can go to Artesian Builds and use code CRITICAL to get up to $100 off. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, we just really enjoy their products and I think they make the absolute best stuff out there. So we're setting Caleb up with a high quality gaming rig and he's going to go to fucking town as he attempts to climb the ladder and make it to the tippy top of the Valorant food chain. So let me show you how his first game went. I, he played at my house. I wanted to see it. I wanted to be there for the first game and see what the baseline is. So here that is. All right, it's fucking game time. Hop into the swamp ass throne. I'm putting you into unranked so that you don't ruin anyone's games. Do you know the controls, Match the keys? WASD is to move. That's right, good start. I'm assuming Q and E do some other shit. Those are your abilities, yeah. Well, that's good. Look at that, new Look, the character. Looking good. <laughs> You're going with no audio, and I see no earbuds in. Oh god. Oh, do I? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you told me you were doing fucking I, homework. I did a lot of homework. Ghost is one of the pistols. Oh. I like the BB though. It's the silence pistol. Is your teammate talking shit? No, not yet. And you can change the direction the and the angle. Happen? You won the round. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is not looking good, Caleb. <laughs> so they were saying to save if your team was doing pretty well. It looks like we're doing pretty well. Yeah, your team kind of absolutely fucking stomped them, blue waffled on them. That's the fuck was that? That's gonna blind to your left. Here you go. <laughs> yeah! Nice! Holy we did it! Fuck yeah! How, is, is R reload? Yeah. Okay. And then. Did I hit him once? No, you missed every shot actually. <laughs> oh. Not bad, not bad. 
My crosshair alignment was there. Yeah. If it you had there. stood still and shot a little slower, you might have hit one. This is gonna be your big moment. It's gonna be up to you to clutch. Oh my god, is it really? Yeah, your teammate's about to go down. Your teammate's kind of just fucking popping off. Alright, now it's on you. Let's go, big guy. Swole Joels. There you go. Nice shot. <laughs> he said the, the, the teammates are definitely had it with my shit at this point. Well, you also haven't hit a bullet yet. Oh! Did I get him? Yep, you got a kill. Oh, we got a kill! Let's go! We got a kill! There you go. They're at A, but I like where your heart was. <laughs> to your left. Yep. Oh, good dodge! Wait, that's your teammate, bro. Oh, whoa. <laughs> He's... Oh, you see him? Oh. <laughs> you actually almost tapped him. That was pretty good. Oh, he's right in oh, front oh. of you. Yes, you're scaring him. Oh, you helped. That's an assist. We take that. He knows I'm here. If I pop, if I peek, he's gonna get me. No, you'll beat him. No. Not bad. Yep, crouch on him. Let's go. He's alone on it. You can just charge it. Oh, you're dead. Damn. You did damage though. That's pretty good. Let them pass first, or do it now? Uh, I think he wants to alt over. <laughs> oh no! Caleb, you're fucking ruining it! Oh! Oh! Almost! That was my outgoing? Yeah. And that's what he did to me? Yeah, he had armor. Fuck that guy. Okay. Oh, you can heal that teammate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We did it! That's big! We did it! We're helpful! Oh. Spike down. He's in that same spot where you got killed from last time, so he's up there. So, through there, to your right, and up. Oh! Oh! No! There's two people there! You- Oh, you almost had two kills! Oh. I didn't move. That was very good. Wasn't moving. I'm very, I'm happy with that. Down. You're welcome, friend. Here, take a heal. We oh, oh, no! <laughs> so, oh my god. Caleb, it's time for the clutch. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> this could be the end. Left. <laughs> oh my god. That was so close. One in 15 isn't optimal but it's it could have been zero it could have been zero yeah so you know you didn't full-on fuck it that is that's basically a six percent instead of a zero percent mm-hmm yeah it just it just needs a little work really it was his teammates fault to be honest that caleb was trying his best to carry but his teammate just sucked too much asshole uh, so it wasn't the best first game overall. It was a little better than I would have expected. I didn't even think he'd know WASD was to move. So the fact that he got movement consistently is good for me. I think that's a good start. I'm happy with that. So Caleb says he wants to stream the journey. So he'll be doing that at Swole Joel's on Twitch. That'll start pretty soon. And we're just going to see how long it takes him and if it's even possible for him to go from what you just saw to being up there with some of the elite, at least like Radiant ranked or something. I think he's got what it takes. I saw that sparkle in his eye when he got that one and only kill. It let me know that he was hungry and that he wouldn't give up. So Caleb has like a ton of hours every week to uh, just kind of dick around, which is now going to be used for Valorant practice, he says. So this guy is going to be fucking grinding a lot. So we'll see how it goes. We'll check in in like a month and see how much he's improved. If he's even improved, you know, maybe he doesn't get any better and this is just the optimal efficiency for Caleb. We'll just have to wait and see. That's the point of science, baby. There's a lot of waiting involved and I'm excited to see where we're at in a month with this uh, gamer experiment. That's about it. See ya.